Good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oilseed comments for Wednesday, middle of the week, July 26th. Kind of a two-sided trade last night. We were steady. We firmed up a little bit across the board, and now we're back on the defensive. Not by any great shakes, but we still have the wheat market up around four cents. The corn market's down fractionally. Beans are down around two cents. Meal market's down roughly a buck, and the oil market's up around ten points. Said it's midweek right now. It's been somewhat of a uh, moderately uh, um, crazy week as far as news goes. A lot of surprises. We started out. Uh, uh, Monday morning with the weekend weather going home on Friday thinking that was going to be more of a dry and warm pattern that didn't really pan on out in conjunction with the uh, commitment of traders report that actually showed the trade getting along the marketplace which was also a surprise like the weather that didn't bode well for Sunday night Monday prices we were on the defensive so that was a surprise there and then we had our crop ratings come on out and those were down particularly for the beans more than what the trade was looking for we got a big rally out of it but then we've also found out that we got a rain system moving through right now through the Midwest that should be beneficial, especially for the areas that have been missing the rain. And we sold the market off yesterday, and now we're trying to stabilize. So like I say, a lot of, uh, of uh, surprises early in the week in here. And like I say, we're trying to stabilize the market right now at this midweek point. Um, it's still kind of playing both sides of $10 beans and $4 corn, depending on the uh, weather and the money flow and the crop ratings. The crop ratings have been drawing down people's yield ideas. Those yield ideas are now taking down the carryout levels. And I have to say, maybe the trade's trying to talk about a corn carryout somewhere in the neighborhood of around 1.7 and 1.9 versus 2.3 at this current time that the USDA is using and something below 400 million bushels for the beans with the trade now or with the USDA currently at 460. What that is doing however is trying to raise the bottom of the price ranges that we were talking about prior to the growing season that may be as low as 320 in the corn and maybe 840 in the beans. Those are getting propped on up to maybe something around 950 beans and maybe around 360 corn. But then again to go and try and rally the market we're still adequately supplied worldwide so we're trying to tighten up the ranges but really don't have any type of definitive trend and the biggest thing in here is once again is the money flow the trade is still net long across the floor except for the meal and if we are going to get the rain events and the weather toning on down those longs that came into the marketplace of late will be susceptible and potentially continue to keep somewhat of a cap on the market instead of a sustained rally even though the weather is still somewhat in the forefront once again these are my opinions not that of ADM or ADMIS thank you